in the last episode uh, we created some filters for our application and as you can see they work pretty well so we can filter this by genre uh, also we can filter it by name so if we do all do star we can filter out Star Wars okay so one thing I didn't like about this is we have this romance right here so all of these values first of all are hard hard coded so that's one thing I don't like about it second thing is we want to have only genres right here that are actually in our movie list so only the genres with uh, that our movies have so none of these movies have romance so romance shouldn't be here and if you click on it everything disappears because we don't have any movies tagged with romance okay so we're going to tackle two problems right here so first of all is we want to dynamically get g the genres and second of all we don't want to have any genres that are uh, not in our movie list we're going to do this uh, using jQuery with Vue.js as you will see it will be a little bit more complicated but I'm going to lead you in every step of the way and we are going to see for every step what type of data we are getting okay so let's get to it I don't know if I said this before but uh, with Vue.js you can use jQuery or regular JavaScript or whatever you want so they're not mutually exclusive so right now we are just going to go to jQuery CDN find it and we are going to include jQuery to our project like this so I'm going to use jQuery one point something minified and I'm just going to copy this out and down here before our app.js we're going to add jQuery of course you can download jQuery and put it in your JS folder but just so we can be quicker about this we're just going to take it from the CDN and that should be it now we have jQuery okay so after we've done that uh, we have to tackle one problem so if we check out this API of ours we can see that we have these field gen genres so uh, this is these are the fields actually this uh, array right here is where we are going to get the genres that our movies are using so to do that we're going to have to use jQuery and it's each function so we're going to iterate through uh, this API or response from the API and then we're going to take every one of these and put it in our, an array and then we are going to uh, create array but with only unique values so as you can see here we have action right here and one more movie is probably have action so we don't want to have an array the, uh, in which this action will repeat twice so we just want one unique value for every genre okay so first of all we are going to go to our app.js I'm just going to make this bigger and then in this get movies method we are going to deal with an array in which we are going to put our genres so to do that first you initialize an array so I'm going to call it genres rr r -r. okay genres r okay so we initialize that and then we just actually follow the same steps as we did uh, right here so first of all you have to iterate through movies so first of all we have to iterate through them so we have this one for each loop right here and to display our genres we needed to have one more for each loop 
so we are going to do exactly that but just in jQuery and in our app.js first so to do that you just do jQuery dot each and then we have to uh, set the object that we are going to iterate through so that is going to be movies right here that we are getting from our API so we just do movies okay and then we pass the fu function that is going to have index and it's going to have a value so but we are going to call that value movie just like we did in this index.html so practically this is it so we are saying it movies uh, movie in movies so that's what our uh, variable is going to be called and then we can just see what we are getting from this so to do that you just do console.log And we do json dot stringify. I hope I wrote this correctly. And then we can just see what we are getting from this movie object right here. Okay, save this. We go to our movies app, open up our console, and refresh this. So as you can see, we are getting this JSON and we are actually getting the whole API right now. So we are iterating through it. As you can see we have uh, these values right here. Now, <coughs> just like we did in index.html, we need another for each loop to get our genres. So to do that, we just do practically the same thing. So you just do jQuery dot each and then uh, we are iterating through this movie so as we said right here uh, genre in movie field genres so we are going to do the same thing right here so we do movie dot field genres pass the function and it's going to be index and it's going to be genre okay and then we can console log what we are getting from this so just to be clear about this let's see what we are getting from this for each loop okay uh, except we are not going to say movie right here but we are going to say genre dot value because if you see this right here so field genres has values that's the index of this action so let's save this and refresh it and now as you can see we are getting this action fantasy adventure drama comedy then we have drama again then we have comedy again then we have action again uh, okay crime and then sci-fi so what we want to do now so this is what we are getting from that forage function so what we want to do now is get only unique values so that the action repeats just once uh, drama just once comedy just once and so on So what we actually want to do now is find a way that we can say to jQuery uh, that we can say okay so go through this uh, array of genres and then add every genre to an array that we initialized right here but if that value already in exists in that array then don't add it so we would do just something like this so if and then we would use jquery again and say in array use in array function 
array and then we pass it this value so gen genre dot value that we saw uh, in this console log right here so genre dot value and we have to pass it an array in which jQuery can look so that is going to be this array right here so genres array okay and now we just do something like this so now we have to say we have to actually do this first because of course I forgot equals 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 minus one so this is the way we tell jQuery uh, to check if this value already exists and uh, let me just see if something doesn't look right here I think this should be it okay and then we just push that value in an array if that value doesn't already exist in that array just do the name of an array genres r dot push and what we want to push in that array so add it to an array is going to be this genre value that value okay and that should actually be it I hope so let's take this console log out of uh, this loop straighten this up a little bit and then we can do JSON stringify and we want to see what is the uh, content of this array that we just created so genres array save it refresh it right now and as you can see we get an array but we get action fantasy adventure drama comedy crime and sci-fi and that's it so as you can see none of these values are repeating so that's great we have our array uh, with our array with our genres that we can use to filter out, out our movies and then uh, the last thing you need to do we have to set that data so just like we did for these movies we would set that data by doing exactly the same thing so we just do this dot set and then we do the name of our genres is going to be genres of course okay and we want to pass it values so we are getting our values from this array so we're just going to set this to genres array and that should be it of course whenever you're adding new data as I said in the previous episode in uh, Vue.js you should initialize it right here so we're just going to do genres so that we don't get those Vue.js warnings and that should be it let me just refresh this to see that we are not getting any warnings okay that's great so now all we have to do is take those values in and add them right here in our uh, select input field and to do that of course it's very easy we just go to our index.html search for these options and I'm just going to remove all of these I'm going to leave option with value of nothing so that we can have all the movies but these options right here I'm going to get from uh, our genres array that we just created I'm just going to remove this and just do v4 equals and then uh, we have genre in genres so we are getting it from here okay and that should actually be it we just have to display it right here so we just do genre and that's that should be it save it and if we refresh the page right now we still get this select box but as you can see we don't have romance right here because none of the movies are tagged with romance and everything should work as expected 
so as you can see uh, the hardest part is actually just creating this array with those values maybe there's a better way to do this in Vue.js I'm not entirely sure I'm while doing these videos learning Vue.js but I didn't find the way to do just this okay uh, so that's it now we have our dynamic filter and as we add movies and as we add more genres to them this is going to automatically populate so that we don't have to worry about this filter okay guys so this is it for this episode uh, please like the video if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you like the content I put on it uh, you can also follow me on Twitter or on Facebook and that's it thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next episode